All right, so we want to show you our new Marshall camera shading project. So uh, if you've not seen them before, we've got four of these cameras here. These are the Marshall CV503s. We like them because they actually have SDI out on them, which is great for getting into you know, a broadcast system. And so these are just little, they're kind of like GoPros. They're just small point of view action cameras. And uh, they have a great picture and lots of adjustments you can do on them. Um, they actually come with a little joystick controller. So if you look up on the screen, you can see I can come into a menu and I can adjust the gain or the shutter on here. So if I want to take this up and adjust the brightness or take it down, if it's too, too bright, I can do all that through the menu, which is great, except for when I need to do this during, like during a song. And so obviously I can't come up here on stage and do that. Uh, but what's nice is that Marshall includes here on that connection an RS-45 connector. And so that's a serial connection. So what we've done is we've made uh, cables that connect from here that go into our uh, Cat5 patch bay where we can connect all four cameras via RS-45 uh, to a Raspberry Pi. So let's go check that out in the patch bay. All right, so before we get to the patch bay, I just wanted to show you real quick uh, with this camera comes in here to our one of our wall plates and we're we're using you know the last port here and we've labeled it uh, and so this cable we made rs45 is two connections two wires so we just made an rj45 cable and only terminated the two middle pairs the blue and the white blue which is the data set that way if somebody were to ever accidentally connect this into a network switch it's not going to do anything to our cameras uh, but now let's go look in the patch bay and see how it's all wired up. Hi guys, I'm David. I work here at Fellowship with Joseph and picking up where he left off, I'm gonna talk to you about how we patch our serial lines into our network. If we come down here to our serial patch panel, this is where all of our cameras come from our wall plates. All the lines that carry serial have been tagged with the green marker so we can make sure we don't plug them into a network switch. Like he said, we have it set up so it won't harm the network switch, but it's best that we don't. And if we continue around to the back of our racks here, all four of those serial lines come into this little connector here where they're combined into one. And if we follow this line up, it goes into our USB to serial RS-485 connector, which lands on a Raspberry Pi 4, which is then connected to the network so that we can talk to it from the control rooms. All right, so for this project, we selected a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, I think we went with the four gigabyte model, but honestly, for what this is doing, the two gigabyte would be plenty. Uh, we just went with the four because we'll probably use it to do other things too. Um, you might could even run this on a cheaper Pi, like a Pi Zero. But for us, we wanted to hardwire it to the ethernet uh, for networking since it's a you know permanent non-moving device and we wanted it uh, you know to be controlling multiple cameras so we just went with this model because it has the ethernet port already on it but you can pick any pie you want and you probably saw in the uh, video but this is the RS45 adapter that we chose uh, it's about fifteen dollars on Amazon there's probably other cheaper ones but you know this one worked great for us and so it's just a simple USB to RS-45 serial adapter. And uh, that's how we made the connection. So we started out planning to use uh, the SOCAT program when in Linux, which allows you to listen uh, for UDP traffic and then basically uh, bridge that traffic to a serial port. And so you could use this command here if you're only going to run uh, maybe one camera with uh, your Pi to, you know, you want to control that from companion. But we found that once we had multiple instances of the Visca module in companion, that this didn't work. And so it only listened to the first one that connected and all the other ones that just didn't work. So this would work for one connection, but not for multiple. So I decided to write a quick Node.js uh, serial port bridge program that listens on a UDP port and forwards basically any traffic that comes through that port from whatever computer on the other end to that serial port. 
So uh, this code will be up on GitHub. You'll be able to download that if you want to use it in your setup. And it is configurable. You can choose which UDP port you want to use. You can specify the serial port path and, of course, the baud rate. And so 9600 is the baud rate that we chose, and that's what's uh, the de default for the Marshall cameras. Uh, but let's walk through how we might set that up on the Pi itself. So this is my Pi. Uh, I'm SSH'd into it right now, so I can control it in the terminal. I don't have to have this hooked up to you know, a monitor, a keyboard, or anything. And so I downloaded the source code to this uh, Pi from GitHub. And uh, I like to install it using the PM2 library, which just makes it demonized as a service. So it just runs all the time in the background. Um, but basically, you know, you have to install uh, Node.js on the Pi and all the other libraries and things that you need. So that's documented here on how to do that. You would uh, download Node and then npm install. And then you can run it directly here or you can use PM2 um, with these instructions here. And so once you get it running, uh, that's basically all you need to do on the Pi. It will just take whatever UDP traffic you send it and relay it to uh, over, over the serial port. So in Companion, what we did, so this is Companion running on our shading computer, and we added four Sony Visca modules. Now, of course, we're working with Marshall cameras, but they use the same protocol. They use the Visca standard protocol. So we just use this existing module here in Companion. And if you look here at the configuration settings for, I'll just pick Marshall 1, you can see I'm targeting the IP address of the Pi and that UDP port. And then I chose camera ID 1. Now if I were to come into, like let's say Marshall 2, you'll see it's the same IP and port, but I chose camera ID 2. So on each Marshall camera, you'll have to do this at the camera with the camera on dis on screen display up where you can see it. You have to give each camera a unique ID because if you leave it at the default, they're, they're all defaulted to uh, ID number one. And so all your commands would always target that first camera. So just make sure you give each one a unique ID and you're good to go there. And then on our buttons, um, we made our home page. These are just simple set surface to another page. And so we gave each one their own page. So let's go to the first one. So I'll go here to 75. That's where we put that one. And right now we just have gain up and gain down. And again, these functions are built into the Sony Visca module. And so uh, if I type in here where you can see just those commands, obviously there's a bunch here that don't really apply because this is not a PTZ camera. But the gain functions work just fine. And you can set the gain to a specific value. You can set the iris to a specific value or the shutter. We don't really want to mess with the shutter in our setup. We're just interested in gain right now. And then we also added a white balance indoor and a push to auto white balance, just in case we want to try to get that color a little bit better. We might be adding more functions as we go, but for now, this is what we have for each camera. And so for us, that works pretty well. Welcome car control room. This right here is our shading station that we use to control of our cameras. We've got these four large RCPs here. That's to control our main broadcast cameras. And to talk to our shader for the marshals up on stage, we've set up a stream deck here that's got four different pages on it, one for each camera. And if I go to the page for the camera that we had up on stage, I can see the gain up and down, or I can control white balance here. And an extra project we've been working on is we've set this Blackmagic Video Hub controller up to send commands over to this instance of Companion so that we can use these buttons here to control our camera shading on stage. If you want to set this up for yourself, you can get the UDP to serial program uh, up on GitHub at github.com slash josephdadams slash UDP to serial. And that's just the simple program that will bridge all the UDP traffic to that local serial port. But altogether, this should be a simple and easy way to use your Stream Deck running companion to control multiple uh, Marshall CV503 or other similar cameras 
over the network with uh, bridging that traffic to RS-485. 